that lovely introduction, Randy. Um, I would love to tell you a bit about what I've been doing, but first, let's have some fun. You ready for some trivia? Oh, yeah. There's money involved, not big money. So <laughs> let me ask, um, who said, uh, do unto others as you would like to be done unto? Jesus. Andrew. There you go, Marianne. You might have to spend it all in one place. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. I can. I can. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, slightly tougher. Um, be the change you wish to see in the world. Gandhi. 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 Bruce. Yeah. Very good. Bruce. I was, was going to say Linda Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. She says it all the time. <laughs> and maybe slightly tougher still, my religion is kindness. Oh, my religion is Teresa. Close. Martin Luther King. Close. Closer. He's, he's still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Yeah. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, he's he's <laughs> yep. <laughs> Farther away, that one. Martin Luther King. Closer. Uh, uh, let's see. From Asia. Dalai Lama. That's right. You get it all. <laughs> You probably heard this before. Though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll give you that dollar. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dolly Parton might have said that. I think that she did. That's a lot more wisdom. But, you know, yeah, other people are focusing on other things but Dolly. <laughs> <laughs> Maintain a strong back. Hard <laughs> <laughs> worker. Uh, you know, it seemed like. It seemed like a few of us knew these messages, and part of the reason we knew them is there's some wisdom in these messages. Mm -hmm. But I would contend another part of the reason is because of the messengers themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, Jesus, Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, these are people who are forces of good in the world, and also very effective communicators and relationship builders. And we as salespeople, of course, are called to be messengers every day. You know, at Elite Auto Glass, conveying the value of your products and services, as well as your own value, Sean, in, in delivering them. You know, the, the high quality service. That's my job. Yeah. Do your job. So I thought to myself, in, in thinking about spiritual leaders, I as a salesperson can learn something from them. So I took it upon myself to create an interesting job, and for the past year I went around the world interviewing spiritual leaders. Wow. Um, 50 of them. That are in that book. There you go, Randy. There's that book. <laughs> the Seek the Lover Within. And um, and I listened to what they said. And what they said boiled down to these seven plus laughter eight <laughs> secrets, which I want to share with you today. And when you look at this list, you know, love yourself, live your passion. You're probably going to say to me, especially Tom, with that with that background of his intellectual background, this is not rocket science. Well, no, intellectually, none of these things are rocket science. What's rocket science here is consistently applying these in our professional and personal lives. That's where the magic, the science happens. So I just wanted to, yes, Jim. The saying that came to mind is doing the ordinary things in an extraordinary way. Yes, and in fact, it's for ordinary things, but most people can't do it in an extraordinary way. That's brilliant. There's a guy I interviewed, Jorge Luis Delgado, who said, what's the difference between ordinary and extraordinary? Extra. <laughs> doing it with, he said, doing it with extra love, service, and wisdom. So Jim is a spiritual leader writing your group. I know you might not have known that. We <laughs> <laughs> still don't know. <laughs> but the, the first thing there is, uh, you see on the sheet, is, lo is love yourself. And, uh, you know, I had, I lucked out and had the good fortune to have dinner with this fellow Deepak Chopra. Have you heard of Deepak oh, yeah. Chopra? And we were talking about book titles, and I said, what do you think would be a good title for this book? And he said, well, maybe my enemy is myself. And he, he was saying this because he was good friends with Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson had just tragically passed away. And he said, you know, Michael, a good <coughs> pop star, had this little voice inside his head that said he wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. And that voice, Marianne and I were just talking about this, one out. 
and unfortunately he passed away. So I said, what are you really telling me here? Are you telling me that the goal was really to make my lover myself, my best lover myself? And he said, yeah, that's where it starts. That's where we can start. When we love ourselves well, we have a whole lot easier time loving other people.